Now, when it comes to getting the vaccine, healthcare workers and first responders have really been at top of the list. But what about security guards? Tonight, the people who hire them say they deserve the shot as well. NBC 4's Beverly White with more. This video from City Guard shows a good day in the life of a security guard. But videos from across the country show how things can go sideways when guards enforce mask mandates. City Guard Sammy Nomer can relate. His 1,100 guards work everywhere. We're providing security services to hospitals, shopping centers, um, testing sites where we're providing security services, vaccination sites. No, Mayor says his employees and their peers statewide are not prioritized to get the COVID vaccine. He's worried because his officers contact strangers and some have contracted COVID while on the job. City Guard provides services at several hospitals where the interaction with the family member or a friend is more, I'm going to go in no matter what. Last month, California's Association of Licensed Security Agencies, Guards and Associates wrote to Governor Newsom seeking frontline worker status for its 300,000 members. They are workers who are at a substantially higher risk of exposure to COVID-19 and are unable to telecommute or work from home. We are asking you to strongly consider placing the security industry employee in the same tier for COVID-19 vaccine distribution as law enforcement and first responders personnel. Samuel O'Mare says he spoke this week to the trade group president behind the letter. He still hasn't heard anything back from uh, Newsom's office. No, Mayor believes COVID vaccines are vital. His workers risk infection every day. People are upset that they have to wait in lines for so long. Um, they're getting into it with guards on a daily basis of telling them that they're not going to keep their masks on. City Guard says its security officers have protected state jobs like Project Room Key, Surge Hospitals, and COVID testing sites. They say now is the time for the governor to protect the guards, many of whom are scared to come to work. In Burbank, I'm Beverly White, NBC4 News.